Now let's take, take a look at some of the adjustable features of the VIP2 chair. Let's start with the headrest, okay? We have many different points on the headrest that we can adjust to suit the user. So first of all, we can adjust the height with this locking collar on the stem tube. Once the height is adjusted and your stem tube is locked firmly into place, then we have three joints on the headrest and one ball joint right at the back of the headrest that we can adjust to suit the user's head position. Now, the adjustment is quite easy. Inside of each one of these joints, there's a locking screw covered by a little plastic cap, okay? Now, how are we going to adjust that? Well, with every chair, in the back pocket, we have a tool bag. For the headrest, we're going to use the larger of the three. So what we need to do is we need to pull the caps off the three joints. The ball joint at the back of the headrest, the screw is visible so we don't have to take anything off of there. Then we're going to use our Allen key and we're going to turn these counterclockwise to loosen the Allen screws inside and then we can adjust the headrest to suit the user. So we can see the user's head is a little bit skewed to one side. So now we can make the adjustments to our headrest. Now, there may be some users that are unable to bring their head to a center position. Now, we have five adjustment points on here. Uh, the bottom one on the stem tube allows us to turn the headrest left or right. And in that way, we can line up the center of the headrest with the spine on the user, okay, to suit their, the user's head position. So again, we have we have the five points loosened, and I'm going to adjust the headrest to suit the user's head. I'm going to communicate with her. Is that okay, or would you like it a little bit, so we need it a little bit more this way? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And we can turn this over a little bit more. And the angle, is that better? More forward? Okay, so we need to come forward a little bit, so we're using this joint here. And is that supporting well? And now we have it in position again, once again. The bottom support, we're using our, our smallest Allen key, and this is the locking collar on the stem tube. Okay, turning it clockwise and locking that into position. Once again, now we've aligned the joints up with the center of the user's spine for the best support, and we can lock everything firmly into position as before, turning clockwise. Okay, now let's take a look at adjusting the height of our armrest. Two tools, our large Allen key and the box wrench. On the inside of the armrest, we have a screw that the Allen key goes into. And on the outside of the armrest, we're going to use our box wrench and we're going to lock that into place. We loosen the screw up. There's a washer inside, don't drop the washer. Pull the screw out with our acorn nut on top. And now we can adjust our armrest to the four different positions, okay? Depending on the needs of the user. Okay, now let's take a look at our leg rest. In some instances, the user may be sitting on the seat and there's a space between the seat and the user's thigh. In that case, we can adjust the foot plate to accommodate the length of the calf so that the user is sitting more comfortably. This is quite easy. First, let's take the user's leg and gently put it to the side. Then what we want to do is remove the leg rest and on the inside we have a screw. We're going to be using our Allen key to take the screw out. And once we remove the screw, we can adjust our foot plate. Okay, take that out. I'm going to put the leg rest back into place. So now we can put the foot plate back inside. Have the user put their leg on top of the foot plate and now we can adjust it so that we have a nice comfortable fit on the seat. How does that feel? Yeah. That's good? Okay. So now from the inside, I'm putting my screw through. Now we're ready to put it back together, so I'm going to have the user move the foot to the side. We're going to take this out 
and then just in the reverse position I'm going to put my nut back on and I'm going to tighten everything up and then we've adjusted the foot, the leg rest.